Now, if it didn't print out for you, you may have a printer issue. If you click on printer settings, you should see a bunch of different printer info. Uh, it sees this current printer Dymo label writer. Now, if you don't see this stuff, you want to make sure that A, you have your Dymo label writer software installed, and you want to make sure you have the latest version of it. B, you want to make sure that your Dymo Label Writer web framework is running, and it should be by default. If you're on a Mac, you'll see it up here. You see this little D. If you're on a Windows machine, you'll see it at the bottom right corner, but that should be running. If you have both of those things running, it's still not working. You want to try Chrome and Firefox. If you've tried Chrome and Firefox and it's still not working, you want to unplug the Dymo, wait 60 seconds or so, plug it back in. You want to make sure, obviously, that the printer shows up in your system settings, whether that's Mac or Windows. And of course, you also want to make sure when you go to your Dymo label framework software that you can print a label through that and that works. If you do all of that and it is still giving you problems and it is still not working. The number one thing that I've seen in issues with, that's kind of a silent Dymo killer, so to speak, are antivirus software programs. Antivirus software programs can be the bane of your existence because they simply block anything and everything that they don't recognize. And Dymo is communicating with your browser through a TCP IP port. And you can see that if you go here, it says start on port 41951. Well, antivirus software loves to block ports like this. So if you're running something like McAfee, which is garbage, or any other antivirus software, there are some good ones, but I would su highly suggest you disable it, at least for when you are listing uh, your book. Okay, but if you've tried all those things and you and you still have issues, I don't have a whole lot of suggestions for you. You can try the Excelis Facebook group, see if somebody has some recommendations. There.